All right, so what is good, everybody, on YouTube? This is, of course, your boy, B, Bullet RC, coming to you guys again with yet another Oh yeah, and listen, before we get started into this video, I gotta let y'all know, brand new Sample Industries drop is live right now. OG logo tees and brand new OG logo shorts are live and available on the site. The link will be down below. I get questions about the original T returning and it is back. So make sure y'all go peep that. Link is down below, like I said, cop up, and I'm still waiting on my pack to get here myself. Now, with the brand new drop out of the way, the weekend is almost over, so y'all know what time it is, man. It's time to get into this week's Heat or Hype, where we get into the latest sneaker releases, sneaker rumors, or anything I wanna talk about in the sneaker or streetwear world, that is what we do here today. And remember, if I don't talk about a shoe, either I forgot about it, didn't edit it in, or it was just that. Basura. That, I did not want to expose y'all to it, but this week, of course, the Basuda is there, but we also got a ton of heat. There's a lot of good releases to talk about. Some big confirmed rumors as well. Trust me, we have a lot, a lot of sneakers to get into this video. So listen, sit back, relax, and of course, make sure you drop a like on this bit. And let's get into this week's Heat or hi. First up for this week, we actually got an update on those brand new Oregon Duck 6s that we're talking about. Now they're now being called the Electric Green and they are dropping on June 5th of 2021, next year. So basically in, in about a year, that's when these should be dropping. That Oregon Ducks name seems to have been ditched and this is what the shoe should look like. Other than that, not too much else to say. We also got to look at this brand new reverse flu game Air Jordan 12. Now, I don't know why they chose to take these photos in a ball pit. I have no clue. But this is the shoe that should be dropping on December 26th for still that regular 190 retail. And these ones are gonna go. They're right after Christmas. They're all red suede with the black on the bottom. Y'all already know how these are gonna do. But yeah, we just got some updated photos of these. Again, in a colorful ball pit for some reason. Now with Halloween right around the corner, y'all know it is time for some of these Halloween theme releases. And we actually got three this week. We already talked about that orange and black pair of forces like, I don't know, about a month ago. But now we actually have three more. First up, we have this Blazer Mid Web and there is no set and stop release date on any of these shoes except for the trainers but we're going to get to those these blazer mids are an all over black it's kind of like an overlay of a black mesh and then you have i'm assuming some type of silver possibly reflective spider webs underneath of it they're, they're pretty straight then you also get the nike air trainer 3 coming in a dracula colorway these in my opinion are they're pretty fine. Black, red, white with a little bit of purple, and you got a little bit of that red blood splatter on the sole, I believe, as well. Overall, just a clean Halloween theme colorway. And then to go ahead and end it off, I didn't think they would do this. This was out of nowhere. There's a Freddy Krueger pair of Air Max 95s as well. You guys can see them right here. It's very, very similar. The colors aren't exact to his, you know, sweater, but you can obviously see where some of the inspiration comes from, even on the back where they have these silver pieces, which I'm assuming could be reflective with the blood splatter on it as well. Now, I'm assuming that these will be dropping on October 31st. Good luck. You know, as soon as something has Freddy Krueger on it, the 95 is going to go crazy. The trains are hard as well. I guess my least favorite would be that all over black blazer mid. Another release that a lot of people are waiting on right now. We got new photos of this J Balvin Air Jordan 1. And the more and more I see him, I feel like I should not like this shoe. Like I definitely know people are going to call this one Basuda, but it's... It's interesting to me. It's a completely different take and look on the Air Jordan 1. Now it's very colorful, it's definitely very J Balvin of course. But as y'all can see, you do get that special packaging. You get like three different patches. I think there's three different sets of laces. Another detail that you couldn't really see before is that the sole is actually like pink. The tongue is this weird pastel pink color as well. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of hype, a lot of love, and a lot of support on this drink whenever they do decide to drop. So, you know, that's all we got. New photos, J Balvin 1s they still come we also got another new pair of these blazer lows dropping next year in 2021 we talked about that black and kind of vault colorway and now we're getting a white red and i believe black and vault colorway another one but right now all we have is mock-ups y'all see them right here when we get some more photos i'll talk more about them jumping into jordan brand land we got an official look at this fragment air jordan 35 now these are supposed to be dropping on October 28th, very, very close to those Halloween releases, but these have nothing to do with Halloween. They're just blue, black, and white. 
Um, as far as the shoe goes, I, I mean, for casual wear, because I'm a casual wearer, I'm not really out there hooping like that. So for me, these are probably going to be an easy pass. But if I was a hooper, I would try to get the fragment joint just for a little bit of fragment flex when I'm playing. But again, I'm going to be wearing these casually and the 35 for me, from this colorway, it just, it really isn't doing it for me. We've also been talking about these Air Jordan 13s and this Shattered Backboard colorway or the Starfish Shell colorway. And we finally have pictures of it. Blam, here you go. And these, again, are gonna go white, orange, and black. They can be kind of be called Shattered Backboard. The name sells the shoe. But the shoe itself is not bad. White, orange, and black 13s, not bad. They look clean. Now these are dropping on January 2nd and it should be for 190. And that is not the only I mean, starfish sale colorway shoe we're gonna talk about. There's actually a four coming on the way as well. So a lot of starfish sale, a lot of black, and a lot of white. Now, as far as the fours go, they do look clean. I believe on this mock of it is that all over sale upper, kind of like that off white upper on these. And I dig them. I think we got three or four like super solid Air Drum four colorways coming next year. And I guess this could be one of those. But again, this is a leak. This is a rumor. This is a mock up. So when they do drop, they might not actually look like this. Now for this next one, I think somebody asked me about it in the Twitch chat. If you're not following me on Twitch, it's BulletRC. Make sure you do that too. We're probably live while you're watching this if you're watching when it actually drops. But we actually have a League of Legends and Air Jordan 1 collab on obviously the Air Jordan 1. Now the shoe here is supposed to be kind of like the championship trophy. Uh, the shoe itself to me, it kind of reminds me of the Air Jordan 1 Zoom. The colorway doesn't seem bad, but again, this image doesn't really, you know, the lighting and everything, I can't exactly tell what the shoe is just going to regularly look like. I just recently even tried any games out like that by trying what, like, Heroes of the Storm, which I actually do like. So maybe one day I will try out League, but for right now, the ones, uh, I mean, they're cool, but I'm waiting for actual photos of the shoe. Next up, we have Undefeated in Nike. Next year, 2021, on a brand new pair of nike dunk lows who would have guessed it another collab on a dunk low and we got well another fire collab to talk about as well now this undefeated one is brand new and again i mean y'all see the photo it's another mock-up but the shoes should look something similar to this albeit probably some different materials maybe the undefeated logo won't be there but i think these are the hues and the colors that should be on the shoe this is more of that fresh off the press info so that's all we got right now this week we also got a look at a brand new nike ispa road warrior colorway one of the craziest and most innovative sneakers of 2020. And I'm pretty sure this first look comes via Samuel Ross of A Cold Wall. Now, as y'all can see, it is a much darker version of that original colorway or that original shoe in general. You have kind of like that same phosphory green that you've seen on the Biohack ones, black, teal or blue purple it's just a darker hued pair of the road warrior and i still want a pair of the ogs i'm just not willing to pay resale for them because the retail at 500 is already high enough now as far as a release date on these goes there is none but at least it is some good news if you are looking for a pair of road warriors you don't want to spend the resale hopefully there'll be some more colorways coming in the future and hopefully you can get that dub. Hopefully I can get that dub for sure. Last week we talked about some new human race NMD colorways and this week we have two more. Now the surprising thing is that they are returning to the flat bottom. I don't know if they're gonna be dropping any more of those trail human races anytime soon. And we got two new colorways as y'all can see right here, a black and a burgundy. Now the burgundy pair has Korean on the top and it says that that roughly translates to nationality and that's on both of the tops. The black pair, I assume that that is Japanese, but I myself cannot translate these shits at all. But yes, the human race NMDs seem to be coming back and this time without the trail soul. For me personally, I've gotten so used to seeing the trail soul that the OG soul looks weird to me. Either way, when I get that release date, I'll let y'all know. Jumping back into some dunk low news. We have good news and we have bad news. Good news, these two pairs of Casina Dunk Lows are on the way. Bad news is if you cannot cop these straight from Casina or cop them off of the Nike Sneakers Asia app, you will not be getting them for retail. At least that's what's been reported so far. And that info is straight via Nike. First up on September 18th, the Neptune Green Joints, that's the ones on the top, are releasing exclusively at Casina. Now the other pair, which is I believe Industrial Blue, is dropping on September 25th, and this one is going to be released via Nike Sneakers Asia. So um, I would love to have a pair of the Neptune Green or the Blue Joints, but I will be out back off rip. 
by default, I'm out back. A lot of us are out back by default. But if you are watching and you can cop this shoe, good luck. I think both colorways are dope. I really like the Neptune Green. They really remind me of the Turbo Green Air Jordan 1. I myself will just have to wait and see if heads are getting bust wide open past the white knee for these joints. Hopefully not, but we'll see. Okay, so it is time to get into this week's Basuda of the Week, and we have two offenders. The first one, I almost didn't want to put them up here, but I just don't know outside of like a child who would be wearing these because this does look like to be a men's release. And that shoe is the Bait and Reebok Insta Pump Fury Minions collab. This. We have a pair of Minions Reeboks. Now, I don't know if y'all agree with me, but I am not a fan of the Minions. But I wonder, is this somewhat hypocritical? Because I also do like the pair of, you know, bait Toy Story Reeboks, which had the Buzz Lightyear joints and the Woody joints. But then I say no, because Buzz Lightyear and Woody are better characters than the Minions. I don't know. That's just me. I, I just can't imagine seeing another grown-ass man. I know. Grown-ass man. Yeah, I know. Rocking the Minions Reeboks um all right listen that's the first basuda now this next shoe to me is not basuda but i have to talk about it to talk about the real basuda and that is the a cold wall converse and chuck taylor collab now these in my opinion are pretty fire it's a pair of converses with kind of like this boot aspect to them i like the rip stop i like the a cold wall pieces added to the shoe i just think that these converses are pretty tough but like i said this isn't the basuda you take this fire pair of converse chuck taylors but there was also a second shoe in the collab and bling this, this is the a cold wall erx pair of shoes and y'all are not gonna sit here and tell me that these don't look like the shits that light up y'all remember when they had the yeezy you know the crazy yeezy light ups this was that other shoe that was sitting right next to them i don't know how they went from the fire chucks to these trash ass ERXs. These to me look like some Fugazi, some Bobos, some barbershop specials, some weird shits right here. I don't know how they arrived at these trash ass shits right here, but they are here. The Cold Wall Converse ERX is the Basuda of the week. And this was actually some Basuda that a lot of you guys sent me. Some people were asking me, how do you submit Basuda to me? A lot of times people just tweet at me and just send me a picture. That's the easiest thing for me just to see off the rip. But that is all the Basuda of the week. This week we got some, you know, major heat. So fuck the Basuda, get it off my screen and let's get to this shit that I've been waiting to talk about. Next up, we actually got a new pair of brown and tan Yeezys. This time it's not on a 350 though. This is the brand new 700 V3 and I believe the colorway is called Aramil. Now y'all know I am the first person to complain about a tan Yeezy, but these to me, I mean, we haven't got the tan Yeezy yet in the 700. So for the first one, the tan and brown, I'm down. It's like bars. The 350, they have milked tan and brown on that 350 forever. So that's why for the 700s, for the first brown and tan joint, okay. Let's do it. I'm down. As far as the release date on these, it should be sometime in December for that regular retail of 200 off the hip. This next bit of news, I have been waiting and waiting and waiting for finally a leaked image to come out of the Fire Red Air Jordan 4. Earlier this year, you guys knew that we were talking about a Black Friday release and that the Fire Red 4s were on the way. We also were talking about the Fire Red 3s, but I think those were just the denims. I don't really think we're getting the Fire Red 3s. But the 4s, as y'all can see right here, we finally have a, well, really, really shitty leaked image of the 4s. But at least that means that they are on the way and Black Friday still should be the date. You already know how many people have been waiting for this shoe. I think the last time they dropped is in 2012. And this one, of course, is coming with that Nike Air on the back. So a lot of people will be going for them. Hopefully, it's a really big release. I mean, hopefully, they're just a GR. But even GRs these days, with how Jordans are moving right now, they will sell out for sure. But the leaked photo is finally here. The Fire Reds are on the way. Another update from last week on September 10th at this point is pretty much confirmed that the all over white pair of CPM Air Force Ones are gonna be returning. Now the retail should be 130 on these and again, I don't believe there will be a Nike ID aspect to it. Now I do think that the black pair is going to release as well, but I don't know if it's gonna be the same day as the all over white. Now y'all know how much I have been talking about this pair of shoes, so Trust me, I will be going for a pair and good luck if you are too. For this next one, I have been telling y'all, no, 
retro is safe no pe is safe nothing is safe from being brought back from its original release and in spring summer of 2021 the raging bull yes the raging bull air jordan 5s are speculated to be re-releasing outside the pack we already had the dmp 6s drop and now raging bulls should be coming back next year do i really need to say much more it's the all over red suede the raging bull one of the best non-og fives maybe just fives in general for some people out there and when these come out i hope they look just like the old pair none of that weird ass materials i want that that red suede just like the old one and then to go ahead and end off this week i gotta say that the internet detectives out there y'all were right and the travis scott sixes and that tan and red colorway do exist and we have photos via bloody o right here to prove that now a lot of people were talking about just the fit he was wearing with the shoe and obviously i i would never ever ever put this on but for people that don't know trust me he, he can put the fit together this one's just on some some weird shit either way these sixes do exist this is a cactus jack air Jordan six and the bottoms do glow on this shoe again right now this seems to be a friends and family type release and other than travis accidentally leaking this shoe this is the only other time that someone else has had these joints physically on their feet for us to see now is there still a six that's supposed to be releasing next year in very similar color yes so again salutes to the internet detectives out there who caught this shoe such a long time ago it is real y'all were not wrong and travis did not slip and fall into the pool with the green pair and then they dry off and look like this that is not what happened at all and trust me i've been talking about these it's good to finally see actual photos of them and they are super clean but as far as the release date goes if they were ever released we're just gonna have to wait and see but that is it man y'all let me know did you cop anything this week and if you didn't you just saved all the money in the pockets hey that is always a good option as well if you enjoyed the video man make sure you go ahead and drop a like on this bit and also peep that new sample industries drop link is down below og logo tees and shorts available now but much love to all the fam followers and of course supporters you guys can find me on instagram twitter soundcloud twitch the twitch is bold rc by the way here there blase blase of course well yeah no shoes around me so bold rc and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video big big news this week hope y'all enjoyed y'all know what i gotta do now i gotta go edit and um yeah see y'all next one peace Ready. if you come here trying to take some there's a lot more where that came